Hey guys, um, I've been getting some requests lately that I should make a little setup video where I show my settings, um, resolution, and pretty much all my options. So, might as well just make one. So, to start with my options, my in game resolution is 1280 times 1024, 60 hertz. Um, and my screen, I'm actually playing on, on a 24 inch screen, which means that I can play at, at the resolution, higher resolution of 1920 by 1080. However, if I choose a higher resolution, um, the problem is that like Battlefield Heroes does not support widescreen, which means that the game is originally a square. Uh, so if I take anything higher, um, like 1920, 1080 is a widescreen option, which means that instead of stretching the sides, so like you can see more on the sides, instead of Alpha Hero zooms in, uh, which means that it cuts pretty much the top and the bottom of your screen instead. So I've taken this option here, 1080, no 1280, um, which means that I, I I get the most out of the screen. I can not, like nothing is cut away, and then what I've done is that I take my screen. And I've uh, done something which is like I filled it in, I stretched the picture out to suit my entire screen. I can show you guys in the video later, or in the video, how it would be if I didn't do that. Right, video quality is high, of course. Window mode is full screen. Uh, matchmaking, like this has been confirmed by the blues with the developers that it doesn't work, so it's rather pointless, anyways. Music volume 1%, and effects volume, like that's pretty much up to every individual, like what your uh, native or what your sound level is or volume is in Windows. Sound quality is high, with a render by software. Um, let's see, the controls. Movement, like pretty much here, everything here is normal, like what it is. Uh, like uh, f default, my mouse sensitivity is 0 0.1. Um, and I, I use 0 0.1 sensitivity because I have another mouse software from Logitech and from there I can adjust my DPI. I can show you guys that. Yeah, regarding my mouse sensitivity, I use a setpoint which is a mouse program for Logitech software and I use G5 laser mouse which is like, I think I got it like 4 or 5 years ago and it's still working perfectly fine. I probably used it for a couple thousand hours so uh, really good quality and I like it a lot. Um, so, what it is that I go on advanced gaming settings, um, <clears throat> and then you get up a little uh, panel here, and here you can change what sort of DPI you have, and this like 1,100 is the DPI that I always use when I play normally, and if I someday decide to go to rifle commando, I can like bump it up to 1,400 or something. I don't really like this is something that I can change on my mouse which means that I can change it the entire time but I don't really use it so yeah it's sort of pointless but at least I use the 1100 from when I play and if I'm gonna show my equipment bar I might as well just show my abilities so what I have done is that I have uh, one it's like it's pretty easy to click so I use one uh, lately I changed like my button 2 to caps lock and that's usually sort of like my secondary weapon like the pistol and the machine gun of gunner and like pistol both soldiers of course so yeah I, I used to have the short range pistol there um, my commando mm, but um, at least what I've done is that I feel it's easier when you're in a close combat like and you have to switch to for example a cheeser it's a lot easier to click caps lock compared to 2 because in order to click on 2 I have to move my uh, like the finger I have on A uh, I think it's called ring finger or something and I have to move that over to like the button 2 and what that does is that I can no longer strafe to the left which m makes my movement pretty predictable for uh, like just a quarter of a second but that quarter of a second can be pretty devastating uh, in some cases so I change it to caps, which I can just easily click with my uh, like with my little finger, 
I have my middle finger on shift and caps lock, so then I like switching to that weapon is pretty easy now. I don't really have any problems with that. Um, my shield is on three. Technically, it shouldn't really be the best, uh, maybe button for shield, but uh, I just used it the entire time, and I don't really have any buttons to other buttons to change it with. So I can't really be bothered. I don't really have any problems with it either. So three is still uh, pretty easy to click on. Uh, my right mouse button I use for keg. I just have my right mouse. I use my right mouse right mouse button for all my classes. Um, I I don't use it for zoom anymore because I don't play rifle commando. So for my soldier I use for example right mouse button on heal. Gunner I use it on keg. And commando, I honestly don't remember. <laughs> but yeah. Um, and my bazooka is on shift uh, because, in my opinion, that's one of the most easiest to reach buttons. And I use my bazooka all the time in close range combat, uh, pretty much all the time. So it's really, it's a button that I feel it's really easy to reach to. Um, and. I actually I in in that on my soldier I have burn bullets on shift, and what burn bullets does is that if I use my pistol and I click on shift and use burn bullets, it will change to my short range MG, which on which is on one. So I also use I also I I personally I use burning bullets to change weapons when I play soldier, and then therefore I have burning bullets on shift uh, because I mainly use my pistol and I pretty much always have burning bullets on cooldown when I need to use it. Uh, I grenades is on Q. Um, well, it's pretty much easy to click scale. Could probably have taken it on a button which required like more speed. For example, right mouse button is the key that you want to use. If there's something you have to use fast or that you need to be like instant. For example, a heal or some or like IG which you like you see K coming through and you need to be as fast as possible. However, I just found that Q works pretty well. But I had some cases where I wished that I had a right mouse button that I just missed it by a, like a quarter of a second, like a hundredth second, and then. But yeah, I'm just I just need my keg on right mouse button because in, uh, when I have my keg on right mouse button, it means that I can easily move around, like use my vast buttons and aim with my mouse perfectly fine and like pretty much maximize my keg. Uh, I'm gonna get some alt. And it's a really easy, it's one of the buttons that I always have my thumb on. It's really easy to hit whenever I want to. So yeah, it's a, yeah, it's pretty much I use Alt on Legit and Elixir on Commando. So it's sort of, it's sort of like synergizes there with like speed. Um, and on Soldier, I use my single grenade, um, which is one of the which is like I use pretty much always on cooldown. <coughs> Bandage, I have C. Like C is a button that is a bit far away, so and which means which pretty much requires that I have to move my hand. Like I can't really click my thumb with it, but I have to click my point finger. So like on C, I have a pretty much something that I don't need to use in battle that doesn't really screw up my uh, strafing or my vast movement. Uh, I have frenzy fire on my uh, mouse three button, and that's the button where I have my thumb on my my <laughs> on my mouse I have a thumb button and it's pretty easy to reach and uh, like I, I can still I can still use my vast movement perfectly fine and I can click frenzy fire without screwing up my aim or anything so it's just nice um, I have right now I have supreme wrenches on F I sometimes have it tonics there because I feel F is a button that you can actually pretty easily click like it's easy to click like to move your uh, pointy finger so I feel like things that I need to react fast on can be on F. Uh, let's go back to the settings again controls uh, we went through here Jeep pretty much basic here I haven't really changed anything sensitivity um, I have it uh, it's pretty high though compared to what the default is but I just like fast momentum tanks and such. Invert mouse, no, of course. My position, in my vehicle position, I actually use my mouse wheel. My position one, which is like the driving seat, is scroll the mouse wheel forward 
position 3, which is like the back seat uh, of the Jeep, for example, is scroll the mouse backwards. And position 2, which is like the, the for example, the third seat on tanks, or the second seat on, uh, on the car. I, I have to click, I have to push my mouse button or my, my mouse to the right side. And the only reason I actually have like such a like sort of <laughs> have sort of like advanced mouse or uh, like uh, vehicle positioning is because I've been playing a lot of Jeep Wars before, and I just change it to that because that means that I can easily change from driving seat to like the third seat and blast. As if you perhaps to see my road trip video, aircraft controls. It's pretty standard here. I honestly never try. Uh, drive any aircrafts, so it, it, you should, probably shouldn't look at this that at all. Uh, general controls, uh, like yes, yes, no, like there's no point having direction arrows, it's just annoying. I never look at them, the only time I look at them is if I'm uh, taking a, is if I'm taking a screenshot or something, and it's just annoying to have them there. Uh, zoom up, pretty unnecessary feature for me to show map I have to click my mouse wheel again I push it to the right side to show the scoreboard I click tub which is pretty obvious you see button to click on um, screenshot I don't even use the bath here screenshot or I use for apps the entire time um, so I don't really th think about that at all chat pretty normal face cam that is actually to click my mouse wheel in um, yeah, so <laughs> it's not really something I use often, just something I use for fun. So clicking in my mouse wheel requires me to remove my, or requires me to move my pointy finger from my shooting button, which isn't really practical in that way. So yeah, I it's just the f like something I sometimes use if I'm driving a jeep or something. Um, and emote like that's pretty much X. It's uh, like that requires me to remove my pointy finger, so I don't use X when I'm in a, anything that requires me to use in a battle one one. So yeah, well I think that's it. So if there anything you want to know more about, then just send me a yeah, just reply to the video if there's anything else you want to know. So see you guys later.